guys and welcome back to my YouTube channel. So today's video you join me in my bathroom and I'm going to be doing a updated nighttime skincare routine and also a testing out of some new La Roche-Posay products. If you are new to my channel then my name is Katie, please do subscribe. I make two videos a week, one on a Wednesday and one on a Sunday so I'd love for you to stick around. I have made a La Roche-Posay skincare video before, if you haven't seen that I'll leave it linked in the bio, but I tested out some La Roche-Posay skincare and I also did a four week trial. That was when my skin was slightly worse, so I went through quite a bad patch of my skin last year and it was quite troublesome to say the least. So I tried out La Roche-Posay skincare and my skin has been a lot better since. Obviously at the moment I have got a full face of makeup on, although it has been on for about 12 hours so it is definitely coming off. But I have a few new skincare products from La Roche-Posay still because I don't want to change it. So I'll just show you what I've got. So I've got two new products. I have got the La Roche-Posay Effecular H Cleansing, what is this called? Derma Soothing Hydrating Cleansing Cream. Apologies if you can hear the fan in the background. I know that it's probably really, really annoying, but unfortunately I can't do anything about that. We have the fan on when we turn the light on in here. So yeah, I've got the Effecular H Cleansing Cream. Now I did, I have tried both of these products before. I tried this for the first time last night and I have been using this for about a week or so. So I've got the cleansing cream and then I've also got the Effecular H. This is the multi-compensating soothing moisturizer long-lasting comfort and i saw both of these on sid's instagram before so from sid and l who i feel like i mention all the time but she mentioned these videos on her instagram she swore by these when she had really bad skin and also my lovely friend kerry she bought some la roche posay skincare as well and she i think she bought in fact i think she bought these same things i did put these on my instagram stories a couple of weeks ago and i did say i would keep you updated with how i found them so i thought i would show you them i guess in this video i think what i am going to do is rather than testing them for four weeks because like i said i know that's how long it kind of takes for your skin to get rid to get used to new skincare etc i don't feel like there's a drastic change so i will test it for a week just kind of show you if there is any difference if not then this is the only clip or oh, this is the only part you will see but yeah i'm excited to see in the long run if this does make any drastic changes to my skin i'm going to take my makeup off now i'm just seeing if it says that i'm going to take my makeup off first before i use any of that so i'm going to take off my makeup just using my micellar um, cleansing water this is the garnier one just also as well, so I put my little headband on. So before, um, before I got the the cleansing cream, I used to have the. I'll have to put a picture of it on screen because I've actually just thrown out the empty bottle. It was the still the Roche Posay, but it was the Effecular, not the Effecular H. I think the Effecular H is for like hydration. Let me talk you through this whilst I uh, take my makeup off. Um, so I've just got some cotton pads to take my makeup off with. It was the Effecula, yeah I'm sure it was the Effecula, I don't even know if I'm saying that right, cleansing gel and it was in a blue bottle. I did get on well with that but I've seen, like I said, Sid and quite a few other people rave about the Effecula H. So I'm going to try that. I just take off my makeup and then I can show you how my skin's doing so you can kind of see it. It's not doing too badly. To be fair, when I um, tried out La Roche-Posay for the first time, I was, like I said, my skin, it's really hard to talk like this. Um, you can see the difference, can't you, how red my skin is compared to when I have makeup on. Um, yeah it was going through quite a troublesome time i have to admit and you will see that in that video but i'm just gonna test this out i think like i said i'll do little clips over a week maybe longer i shall i shall see but i'm gonna just see if that cleansing cream is better for my 
better for me maybe maybe better suited for me so just in case if you haven't watched any of my videos before about my skin so i have oily skin very oily skin although this is what i was going to update you on actually recently in the past maybe month or so i've been getting really dry skin around like my nose bit here i don't know if you're gonna be able to see around my nose bit here can you kind of see that redness i know i have redness on this side but this is a birthmark if you haven't seen this before um so this is always red but this bit is quite red and it gets quite sore and the same around my nose as well so i do get some dry skin which is strange because i've always always had oily skin i've never i have dry skin on my head um don't know if that's tmi but i have quite dry skin on my head but i've never had dry skin on my face before the only place i've ever had dry skin before is my eyebrows and it's so annoying because it just makes it look like i don't know i've got little white bits all in my just using the viewfinder to take this off um white bits all in my eyebrows and i don't it's just i get really bad dry skin in my eyebrows i always have done i also think because it has got a little bit better and i also think um one of the reasons it's got better is because i used to have my eyebrows waxed and obviously well this is kind of the conclusion i've come to i think that is part of the problem for why my eyebrows start to get so dry because they were, I, don't, I might be completely wrong, but whenever I got my eyebrows waxed, even though obviously my lovely lash lady, Stacy, she would put like all the lotions and potions and creams and whatever on, I just, my eyebrows would always go really, really dry afterwards. So I think that was part of the problem. I haven't had my eyebrows waxed in, probably like a year because I just wha I just pluck them myself now it's just easier to keep on top of them that way and obviously saves saves myself a bit of money okay so that's all my makeup taken off as you can see I don't know if you can really see it very well but oh I've got a bit of cotton stuck to my finger around like my nose here it gets really quite sore and then here you can see like a little dry patch and it can get quite bad I mean I'm not going to lie, our water, though sounds like really weird and like a really random thing to say. Kicking a bag, hold on. I know that's really, this is really weird and random to say, but our water here is quite hard. So it does dry out my skin and my head, as I was saying before. But it's just been exceptionally dry recently, so that is not good. Anyway, moving on from that, because nobody really cares about whether I've got dry skin or not, I don't think. So, let's talk you through my skincare routine. So obviously, I am trying this out now. I've only, like I said, used it once. I used it for the first time last night. It does say it's tested on oily, acne-prone skin, which is exactly my skin. I've got oily skin and I've also got acne-prone skin. But just give you a bit of an overview of my face. <laughs> so I have, don't be alarmed, I do have quite red Base skin that is mainly because of my birthmark so I have a strawberry birthmark that goes on my one side of my nose and this side of my face and then this side I also have this is just basically my bad side just putting it out there this is basically my bad side so I've got obviously this monstrosity uh, that's a bit mean of me to say that but I hate my birthmark always have anyway that's that's all that's got to say on it I used to get bullied for it when I was at school, I've been called every name under the sun about it so I've always been quite self-conscious about it and to be honest it's only been in the last year maybe, probably since I started doing YouTube that I actually started going out without makeup on. So yeah, I've got this birthmark here and then I've also got a few scars here. I can tell they're scars because when I run my finger over them they're not, it's not like it's an active spot or an active lump or anything. I did have before quite a large lump here, but it seems to have gone now. It's qu well, it's quite small. It's definitely reduced in size. And I also have a scar here from a spot 
not quite sure why there's just this random scar but to be fair touch wood my skin is doing okay at the moment i've just got a few scar in i've got like one spot here but i've just got a few scars as well so first thing i'm going to do is wet my hands so i have just dampened my hands and i'm then going to get this and now does it tell you how much to a small amount so it says gently cleanses purifies and soothes skin feel soothes skin's feel to restore comfort tested under dermal dermatological control in combination with over drying treatment anti-friction texture lather a small amount of product with water in the palm of your hand apply to your wet oh you may have a wet face okay um moving from the center outwards in single strokes rinse thoroughly and dry without rubbing okay let me get a, a uh, thingy so i have these which are like cleansing mitt things so i'm just going to wet that i didn't realize you had to have a wet face so i've just wet that so i'm just going to wet my face as well as my hands so the gel i just used to put it in my hands with water and then put it on my face i didn't used to wet my face first it's okay it's not a problem you can still see as well the makeup coming off even with just water that's why i always when i wear makeup i tend to do like normally if i was just out in a usual day i wouldn't normally wear makeup so i would just wet this once once i put the cleansing stuff on wipe all the cleansing stuff off whereas when i have makeup i go on over quite a few times just to make sure i get it all off so i'm gonna add a bit to the palm of my hand as instructed so i'm just gonna do two pumps don't know if that's too much don't know if that's too little move my hair out of the way i'm just gonna mix that together kind of warm it up and then i'm gonna put it on my face like I'm acting like some sort of professional doing this, don't I? I'm just gonna weave it around my face, make sure it's all over. I would say I feel like I've put quite a lot on. I don't feel like I needed two pumps. I think I maybe I only needed one. That's okay. We we live and learn from these things. I like to really like get into my eyebrows because they're as I said earlier, dry. I try and get off all the dry skin at the same time. So I'm just gonna rinse my hands now. I've also just rinsed wet or dampened my cloth and I'm just gonna take that off. I mean, like smell wise, doesn't really have a smell. I think I said that last time about the other La Roche Posay stuff, especially the cleansing gel, it just doesn't really have a smell, which isn't a bad thing because sometimes my skin can react to quite perfumed things, so it's quite good. It doesn't have a smell. I'm just gonna take take that off. Oh, I've definitely left all that foundation. I don't know if you saw that on my neck. Okay, so it's actually the following day now because my camera battery died last night. I've just got out of the bath, hence why my hair looks like a little piña apple on top of my head. But yeah, my camera battery died last night, so I didn't get to show you the rest of my skincare routine. So I've just caught up to where I was last night. So the next thing I go in with is this, which is the La Roche-Posay, I think it's a toner, but it says a fecular lotion. Micro exfoliant. Anyway, this, which I showed in my last La Roche Posay video, so I'm just going to pop that on a cotton pad. Now, I half my cotton pads because I use half at a time. Oh, I just wiped my eye, so I just kind of wipe that all over my face. So, this isn't a new product, this is something that I have already used when I used it before. When I bought it the last time so I just keep repurchasing it and I really like this my eyebrows look quite dark don't they I have my eyebrow eye, eyebrows I have my eyebrows microbladed by my best friend Georgie so that's probably why they look dumb so the next thing and the final new product 
is this, which is the La Roche Posay Effecular H um, Multi Compensator Multi Compensating Soothing Moisturiser, Long Lasting Comfort. So I just use this after I have put some toner on, and I learned the first time I used this. So I've been using this longer um, because I've ran out of my other moisturiser. So I, I realised after I used it the first time, you don't actually need to put too much on. So I've just put that was kind of like just one blob, and I just put this all over my face. To be fair, you could probably do with a bit more than what I've put on, but. It is really, really nice. And I had before, I will insert a picture. I'm just going to put a little bit more on. I'll insert a picture of what I had before because, again, where I finished it, I don't think. Hold on. I didn't know if I still had the bottle, uh, the box from when I had it before. But it was another La Roche Posay, but it was like a skin corrector kind of fluid not a actual moisturizer i definitely prefer this it just feels nice it doesn't feel sticky on my face it just feels really moisturizing it's got a tiny bit of a scent that's what i was going to say as well i think i said when i filmed the first clip i think i said that it didn't really smell of anything it's got some sort of smell but i can't quite put my finger on what the smell is so this just says on the back it just says apply morning and evening on a cleansed skin so that's obviously what I did it's very confusing because obviously it's in French first because it's a French brand a French brand but yeah these are the three products that I use from La Roche Posay and I absolutely love them so far obviously like I said the toner I have been using for quite a few months now and then these two are the new products that have been highly spoken about by people on the internet and thought I'd give them a go so I'm enjoying them so far I think I prefer the consistency of this the cleansing cream rather than the cleansing gel I don't know why this just feels a bit nicer it feels a bit more like it's quite soothing towards my face and like I was mentioning yesterday I've got quite some dry skin here although the moisturizer is quite good please excuse my eyelashes they haven't been done in six weeks so just excuse that but I have been getting some dry skin around here and also around my nose and both of those feel like they really help. The last thing in my skincare routine is this. Now this obviously isn't Roche Posay. This is a medical lotion. So this is something that was prescribed to me by the doctor. So if you did watch my... I don't know if I'm speaking so fast. If you did watch my um, previous La Roche Posay video, I don't know if I mentioned it in that or I have mentioned it in vlogs that I was put on medication for my skin because it did get really quite bad. I will find some pictures and I'll insert them. but it did get quite bad so I was put on medication I was put on some antibiotics for two months I think it was so I'm now not on them and I have also was also put on this which I'm continuing to use just until I use it up so this is the I don't know how you say it Dallasin topical Dallasin I think that's how you say it uh, topical lotion so I just shake that and then I just put a little bit on my finger and I only put it on the problem sort of areas. So I just kind of rub it a little bit here, a little bit here and around here. And just kind of where there are any problem areas around my skin. My skin is, like I mentioned, is already quite red. Um, but where I have been in the bath, it's obviously a bit, it's even more red. Let me take my hair down so I don't look so much like an egg. Um, where I've been in the bath and obviously got warm because I have my bath as if it's about to burn me I don't know if anybody else does that um, my skin looks even more red 
please excuse my hair i just look in a bit of a state aren't i there we go I look a bit more presentable now um so overall so first initial kind of thoughts i know that i have kind of already used these but not together and not as like a proper trial i haven't been using them for long enough i really like both of the consistencies of both of these they're quite similar obviously they're from the same range they're both the effectular h and like i mentioned the products that i used before which is from the effect i hope i'm saying that right effectular normal sort of range so i'm really enjoying these and so far touch wood my skin is coping okay with them so yeah i'll just give you a little overview of my skin like i said i'll be doing i'll insert some clips after this obviously over the next week two weeks however long and just show you how my skin is progressing if there's much change there might not be so yeah thumbs up from me okay so as suspected i didn't film any progress for this video like i said i was but it's now been two weeks since i filmed that video so i thought i'd just show you my skin i am i've just washed it so well i've just done the skincare routine that i showed you so it's looking a bit red and shiny i am starting to get a little bit of a breakout here but that is not to do with the skincare that is how do i word this nicely lady problems basically starting to arise you get the gist so yeah apart from that and it looks a bit blotchy where i've just been in the bath and i've just washed my uh, not washed my hair wash my face so apart from that it's feeling really really nice i would really highly recommend the la roche posay products I have really particularly liked the moisturiser, but I've also really liked the cleanser as well. I like that you don't have to use too much of the cleanser, because I found with the gel one that I had, you're using quite a lot. Whereas this one, I use two little pumps, as you would have seen, and I find that it works really well. But this is really nice as well, and again, you don't have to use very much, very much of that either, because a little goes a long way. So I definitely recommend the Effecula H range i would recommend all of the la roche posay products i have enjoyed all of it so i would highly highly recommend it especially if you have similar skin to me which i think i would mentioned i've forgotten what i've mentioned in this video already um that i have oily skin but i also have sensitive skin that is obviously prone to acne so i would highly highly recommend this brain that's going to go ahead and conclude this video if you did enjoy it please do give it a big thumbs up subscribe down below and also follow me on instagram my handle is in the description and i'll see you very soon thanks for watching bye